Chainsaws do make me nervous. That is picture perfect. An etouffee is funner to say. Bareback and bridalless. Well, the gang's all here. We got some trees to get off the fence. It's actually not too bad here in the shade today. We got a breeze. Pretty, pretty strong breeze. These beans look good, I think. I mean, they're short, but they're coming on. And fence rows. Got a lot of fence rows to spray. Uh -oh. Push the compression release on. If it ever blocks anything, the compression release will knock off. You have to put it back up. And when it fires, one time go through, then just reach down there. Over the fence, though. There'll be a turtle crawl <laughs> So this tree you're gonna need to use a tractor for? Yeah. Okay. Alright, on to the next one. Good job, Wesley. Okay, this one's gonna have to be cut. Not gonna lie, chainsaws do make me nervous. They make me nervous. Lawrence is gonna do this. Huh? This one's got something living under it. It's got something living under it. What do you mean? Chippage coming out there. <laughs> what do you call it? Well done. Watch your feet. I said chippage. Correct term would be salt <laughs> Now the rope is coming out to get that piece out of there. All right, he said he's pulling that out because if he started cutting it out there, there'd be lots of little sticks to get out from the beans. So he's gonna back drag it out and then cut it up, I reckon. Unless we can pick it up, I don't know. I don't think we can. taller over here he said it's better land <laughs> closer to the river 
The river's right over there. We'll see it up here in a minute, I think. There's the muddy Dan. She's muddy now for sure after all this rain. Oh my gosh. <sighs> remember putting these posts back in. Do y'all remember that? Remember it was sand out here and y'all were running around playing in the sand. That was a few years ago. Y'all were little, littler, littler. Hole. Straight across from the tree. Oh, yeah. Alright. We were we done been eating our dad. Yeah, the beans down low. Yeah. It's got his little patch right here. <laughs> Ugh. Don't y'all wanna go swim in that? <laughs> Look at the turtles down there. Oh I see. Turtles. There you can't see them. It's a little black. Barely see it with the he said he sprayed this one time this year, but you wouldn't even know it. it grows back so fast. I mean, this time of year, as wet as it's been and as hot and humid, I mean, it's just like prime time for weeds. My yard is showing the same thing. Ugh. Oh, he just said this morning he's ready for August to be come and gone. So am I. Fall can never get here soon enough. Never. What are we gonna do here? Hey, Wes. Cut this one off right here where they can pull them over the fence. Five thirty. I don't know what I'm cooking yet, but I'll leave it there for you. Love you. Be careful. Okay, we're leaving him down here to finish, to spray fence rows. Finish is probably a very strong word. He plans to be down here at least five or six hours. We're gonna head back to the house. We got church tonight. I have no idea what to cook for supper tonight. None. We're out of everything. I gotta go to the grocery store. Pull out another pound of hamburger and do some kind of hamburger surprise. <laughs> We had hamburgers last night, so cross that one off. <laughs> Look at him. All right, here we are. Walking, y'all. We're walking. It's warm, but it's not terrible. Not like it has been. Um, Lawrence is bush hogging somewhere. Oh, gosh. I don't know where. Somewhere around these parts. And uh, I'm getting a walk in. Y'all, if I don't get my workout in the beginning of the day, it's just, it's all downhill. It didn't happen this morning. And uh, so I decided to just plug out a couple miles and then I'm heading in to cook supper. Fun. Tonight, y'all, shrimp creole. That's how I say it. Creole, creole. How do y'all say that down south? Like south south, like Louisiana. Kendall, my buddy K Fred down there. How do you say that? Anywho, that's what we're having. Um, come here, Duke. <laughs> Duke. Duke, are you a cow dog now? Come on, let's go. Clara, come on, bring him on. Bring Duke. <sighs> come on, let's go. Somebody's been in a mud hole. Look at her. Oh my word. Not Duke though, cause he's above average in every way. Right buddy? Even though your ear, that, that bugs me. Okay. All right, any, anyway, heading home to do that. And um, we have had a little break the last couple days. It's been a little less humid and a little less hot. So, I think that's about to change. But, um, oh, I know. I never gave y'all an update on the weather situation. <laughs> Just put on my meteorologist hat. <laughs> my weather woman hat. Um, okay. 
that would really embarrass the kids. I'm gonna definitely leave it in. Um, so we did have like that line, bad line of form, storms come through a couple nights ago. And there were it, where the one that brought tornadoes some places. And there was tornado warnings and watches and all this stuff, but we dodged that bullet. We had a, I sat on the porch. There was a couple really big, strong gusts of wind. And then a little bit of rain, like a tenth. <laughs> we got an inch the other night within an hour, so it was nothing. For the fourth, fourth or fifth time in recent weeks, I put my truck up under the barn. So maybe that's what's keeping it from being bad. So I'll just keep doing that every time they say that four letter H word, H-A-I-L. Every time they say that, I put my barn, my truck under the barn. Lawrence even moved the tractor for me this time. I got the whole truck under there, not just half of it. So that's, it is what it is. Thankfully we didn't have to deal with any of that. So there's that. I was trying to think what other questions. I was looking at comments from the last video and I'm going to try to, oh, try to walk and not trip. And then also field questions. Some of y'all were asking about Lady, her tail. So her tail has always been limp since we've had her. So she was a stray. Um, her tail's always been that way. It's never, it's never been able to wag, which has always been sad to us. We're not sure what happened. I mean, obviously it looks like maybe it was broke or something. Who knows y'all? We have no clue what her prior life was like. But I think she found a good home. We have done our best to take care of her and uh, love her. And I do love her, I really love her. I love her the most y'all. I really do. <laughs> I mean the most out of anybody here. Everybody kind of has their favorites. Of course, Bonnie's my girl. And then there's Lady. And then there's my boy Rocket. And then there's little Dookie. And of course I love Claire and Gus, although they can get on my nerves. But anyway, <laughs> all right, we're getting there y'all. Point one eight to go and I'll be at the house. And we'll have two down. And maybe we'll get out and get two more after supper. I put my hair up. Um, all right. We'll see you back in the kitchen. Try to slow down so it's not so choppy. The boys are right here. Pretty boys. Y'all got some good grass out there. This rain is helping the situation. Yeah. Say hey, everybody. That's Ben. If you're new here, this is Cinch. This is my husband's horse. They are, uh, they are two peas in a pod. We laugh at them together. Um, ben, Wesley's first-ish horse. Uh, he's a cart driving horse. And he's a horse that we can just put anybody on, so he gets to stay around. Not, not really a cow horse, we found out. So then we got Cowboy, which is Wesley's cow horse. <laughs> Red Roan. Strawberry Roan, whatever you want to call it. And then there's Hank, Austin's boy. Austin's sweet boy, who she would say is the prettiest boy on the planet. And he is, y'all. He's kind of, to me, to us, he's really got that foundation, stocky, quarter horse confirmation, including a big, round bottom. Yeah, okay. You doing all right, Bunny? Okay. <laughs> Bonnie, I was just calling for you. I, <laughs> I thought you were behind me. She's up here waiting. I know what you did. I came down here a minute ago and turned around to go back. And she stayed. She said, I'm not, I'm not dumb, Mom. I knew you'd be back, so I just stayed here and waited for you. <laughs> We talk about some issues. She has major issues. Have y'all noticed? Y'all notice the way she walks back there? I have to show you from behind. She's 
got a little hitch in her giddy up. She got run over several times when she was young because she was not the brightest dog in the patch. Dog in the herd. Dog in the pack. She loved to um, she loved to chase horses and she got kicked. She's missing half her teeth. She loved to uh, chase the, at the time we had a gator. She loved to bite the tires and she got ran over. I don't know how many times, lots of times. She broke her hip, she's had surgery, she's got pins, she's got plates. The last time she did it, we just, she just had to heal because I couldn't afford to fix it. And um, she did, she healed. But she's got a little hitch in her get along. And uh, I just got you some supplements, Bonnie. I just ordered uh, some supplement for her joints that I'm gonna give her because we've started using this other stuff. This is, um, I've used, started using stuff like uh, Gut Aid. And then I bought this Osteomax. This is not a commercial. Definitely not being paid. And it's definitely not cheap, but it works. Like we've heard so many good things about it and the other stuff's been working. So, um, 100X Equine. And I bought this for Bonnie. This is Joint Flex. They also have stuff for humans. So I would have tried that for Lawrence, but he doesn't need it anymore because he has two new knees. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm sweating big time. Let's go inside where it's cool, y'all. And now instead of uh, furniture, extra furniture, you know, on the porch like it used to be all the time, we have hanging pads because we're having to keep all our tack in the, tra um, in the trailer because we've been trailering back and forth. It's just easier to keep it in there than the tack room that's way out there. But, but the humidity and everything, they were so wet, so we're just keeping them here. Isn't that lovely? Oh, man. We do what we do, don't we? We do what we gotta do around here. Oh my gosh. Nope, y'all don't get to go in right now because you're so dirty. Sorry. You choose to lay down in a mud puddle and you get to stay outside until you're dry and clean. And that's the way it goes. You've got water. And while I get started with supper, my little girl, big girl, sweet girl, is <laughs> in here cleaning my saddle for me. They've gotten so dusty out there in the arena, in the arena dust. They've gotten moldy in the tractor. That I'm in the, I keep saying tractor instead of trailer. We had to get them out of the trailer. So we've got literally saddles piled up everywhere in here um, because the humidity was just, they were starting to mold. Not good, not good. Mine didn't, but everybody else's was. Anyway, thank you. She's going to work on daddy's too, I think. Because his is a little... This is a little dusty. This is a little more used than mine. Mine is not old at all. His has been used a lot and old a lot because he is kind of ridiculous about oiling things. He loves to oil some. Okay, I got some, uh, I put some of my favorite chicken broth base in here. Getting this boiling to add the rice. Y'all, have I told you what, how I started doing my rice? I think I have. I know that I did it on Instagram. I can't remember here. Um, at the risk of repeating myself, I'll repeat myself. So I've just started cooking it in water like, um, like you would pasta. Not like trying to measure it out, just putting plenty of water and then letting the rice boil in it and then just taking the rice out like with a slotted spoon. And it's been working amazing. So that's what we're doing. And this is our favorite rice now. I used to always um, cook the jasmine and all, but, uh, and I still love jasmine, but I feel like this is maybe a little healthier as far as grains go. Maybe not, could be wrong, but we like it. It's like a wild rice blend. Um, it appears I might need some readers. Tex, Tex Mati, white, brown, wild, and red. Anyway, that's that. Okay, got my um, kitchen help here. Good help. Good help here. Yeah, All right, we got, um, okay, I'll put the rice in in a second. We got butter. Might need help, actually. <laughs> we got butter. You want to put that in there? You can put that in there. Four tablespoons of butter, and then we got... A rib of celery. Just taught her what a rib is. <laughs> I never ever buy celery, cook with celery. Lawrence doesn't like celery, but hopefully he'll tolerate this because it'll be sauteed. Celery. Wait, 
bell pepper and an onion diced up. Huh? It's green. You just can't see it because it's green. And we got to put some minced garlic. If this will come out. All right, put some garlic in there. And we're going to let this cook down a little bit. Okay, now I'm putting a little flour and some thyme and salt and pepper. I'll put that in there for a second. That's going to help it thicken. All right, y'all, I need some tomatoes. All right, now we're going to put a little, I don't know how much, a little white cooking wine that gets used like once a year. Hopefully it's still good. And we're going to, whoo, smells strong. And we're going to do this number right here. I'm using fire roasted. I love fire, these fire roasted. I don't know. I just like them the most. And we're going to let this um, simmer for a little while. And then we'll add our shrimp. I forgot to add chicken stock. I just pulled this out of the, um, <laughs> I pulled it out of the, the rice pot. Look, look at how smart I am. I didn't get any rice in it. That was smart. Come on now. All right, so that'll thicken up as it sits and simmers a while. It also Ooh. called for bay leaves, but that's another thing that I use like once a year and I thought I had and evidently I don't. Shucks. Imagine that, I know, right? <laughs> Here comes Lawrence. He's on Little Blue today. He's bush hogging on Little Blue. All right, so I'm gonna turn this back on got done where I wanted it and then I'm gonna put the shrimp in it because you know that needs to come last because it only takes a minute for shrimp to get paint we got rice oh and we got bread that needs broiling that is picture perfect something like that none for you okay walk number two <laughs> um that shrimp okay this is what I was told by someone on Instagram that the correct terminology would probably be more like etouffee. And etouffee is fun or to say. More fun. So, whatever you want to call it, it was good. Really good. I'm full. Um, the guys just came and fed the calves. So, they're all done. I'm going to walk and get the puppy some more energy out before I sit down and call it a night. Oh, y'all, it's so pretty through here. I've always loved this little spot right through here when the sun is setting. See how the light comes through there? It's just so pretty. Especially in the fall when the leaves are changing. I got my hair did today. That's why it looks a little blonde right there. And it's very straight. Which is very weird. But I had a treatment put on it for all my split ends. I just have issues with split ends. So, I never tried it before. So, she had to straighten it to get it activated. <laughs> so, anyway. That's what's happening here. Um, look. What do you got, Duke? What you got? So the kids have created an Instagram account for Duke. And, um, well, Wesley's running it. And Austin's the hype girl. And she's so excited. I just told everyone on uh, Instagram. <laughs> Look at the cows out there. I just told everyone. And so they're starting to get followers. So if you're on Instagram, you can find Duke at the Doggy Diaries of Duke. I don't know. Silly kids. Whatever. That's the fun thing, I guess. Right, buddy? Somebody asked about that. Yeah, um, we got, there's a whole video on this contraption. It's, it's a tractor with the side thing. Yep, got that from our buddy Brad. Uh, so he, he got it and it, took it off the trailer and put it right there and it hasn't moved so one day maybe it'll move and get used see the, the thought was to be able to use that to like um over at the pond dam and like uh, on the edges of the trees and stuff to be able to bush hog it or whatever you want to call that 
one day, one day. Oh, so pretty. He keeps jumping on Bonnie. He wants to play with her so bad. And she's like, no, I don't want any part of that. Not the mud, not the mud. Come on, Bonnie. Come on, Bonnie. Yeah. Come on, Bonnie. Come on. Come up here to see what what she was doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bareback. Bridalless. Bareback and bridalless. Oh my. Look at you two. <laughs> How's that feel? Good? <laughs> Look at that turn. Oh my goodness. Hanky. What a good boy. You sweetie. Slack. <laughs> There's nothing to dally. <laughs>